Eight adult subjects from different professional backgrounds were selected for the study. They were given a portable machine that can monitor particulate matter. This machine is called the TSI Dust Track DRX Aerosol Monitor and can detect particulate matter between the sizes of 1 and 10 micron. The study conducted by the Center for Science and Environment sought to measure particulate matter with a size of 2.5 microns or PM2.5. The aerosol monitor was packed securely in a backpack for easy portability. The machine stayed close to the subjects for 24 hours, in their house, when they were traveling, in their office, and even during their recreational time. The portable monitor gives real-time data. Every minute of exposure can be recorded. The data from the aerosol monitoring machine was compared to the data of the closest government air pollution monitoring station in the Delhi region. The results of the study were shocking. Delhi's air is poisonous. The 24-hour data for each of these subjects revealed that their exposure to PM2.5 was many times higher than not just the stringent WHO standards, but also the lax Indian standards. Now let's take a look at how each of these individuals fared. We began our study with Kaushik Dasgupta, an asthma patient and our colleague at Down to Earth magazine. The average exposure for Kaushik for 24 hours was 382 micrograms, or more than six times higher than the Indian ambient air quality standards. Bhurelal is a retired civil services man and the person who currently heads the Environment Pollution Control Authority set up by the Supreme Court of India. Ironically, Mr. Lal clocked a deadly 704 micrograms per cubic meter or more than 11.5 times the safe level set by the Indian authorities. To make matters worse, he recorded highest hourly levels of 1,196 micrograms or 20 times the Indian standard during his morning walk at the Sylvan Lodi Gardens. We could not believe that the levels at Lodi Gardens could be that high, so we decided to request him for a retest. He gladly agreed, but the results, although marginally better, were not worth celebrating. His morning walk revealed a high of 832 micrograms or 14 times the safe limit. His average for the day settled at 412 micrograms or about 7 times the Indian safe standard. Bharati Chaturvedi The day we monitored Bharati Chaturvedi, Director, Chintan Environmental Research and Action Group, she was exposed to 409 micrograms per cubic meter or almost seven times higher than the Indian standard. William Bissell William Bissell is the director of Fab India, a private platform for handloom products. Mr. Bissell clocked an extremely unhealthy average of 382 micrograms per cubic meter on the day CSE monitored him, which was about six times higher than the Indian standard. Avikal Sumbanshi Avikar is a researcher with Centre for Science and Environment. Part of Avikar's exercise was to cycle from his office at Tuglakabad Institutional Area to Kanaut Place. Avikar's data for the day again showed extremely high levels of PM2.5, measuring 8.7 times higher than the safe standard at 518 micrograms per cubic meter. Harish Sarve Harish Sarve is a senior lawyer and the amicus curiae to the Supreme Court on matters relating to environment. His data for the day showed a high of 242 micrograms per cubic meter, which is about four times the Indian standard. Ashok Bilal Ashok Bilal is the head of an architecture firm that designs eco-friendly buildings. He lives in North Delhi, very close to the Delhi Ridge, considered the lungs of the capital. However, the forested ridge seems to have had no soothing effect on his 24-hour data. His average of 405 micrograms per cubic meter is extremely unhealthy and 6.5 times above the safe standard. Dr. Randeep Guleria Dr. Guleria is Professor and Head of Department of Pulmonary Medicine and Sleep Disorders at AIMS. His readings were also higher than normal 
averaging 188 micrograms per cubic meter or three times above the safe limit.